let's talk about those two scales we did first. Um, actually, no, let's not do that first. Let's talk about the right hand first. So, what you were doing originally was holding your hand this way on the base. So you did have your thumb anchored on the pickup, which is good, but this kind of puts you at a disadvantage when you're playing. I think there's a lot more control when you bring your hand over like this. You see, you can't even see my thumb anymore when I'm holding it like this. Well, I guess it's kind of poking out there. But uh, I think you get the idea. So bring your hand over, so kind of doing this with your thumb and your, and your fingers there. So if you don't want it like this, I'm kind of pinching together like that. Um, when you're picking, so originally, I'll see if this kind of, yeah, there we go, that'll show up on camera, okay. So what you were doing at first was kind of doing a pluck like this, so you're like kind of grabbing the string and pulling through like this. So the idea to make it faster and smoother is you're going to just pick straight through the string this way. So notice how I'm not curling my finger this way. That knuckle is bent. But this one is not. So this way, I'm trying to keep it as, kind of as flat as possible. So this way, my finger like slides through the, the string instead of plucking through it. So the goal is just drag your finger, like push the finger through until it hits your thumb. So a good warm up for right now uh, until it becomes natural. Just like try this four times on each string. Just drag it through until it touches your thumb. And then shift your thumb over to the next string, do the same thing. And come back down. And you can just go back up again. I wouldn't worry about doing it fast yet, just concentrate on making the technique. Proper. I just went through it quickly just to just to kind of get through it there. So that's what you want to do with the right hand. Now uh, the scale, yes. So we had C major scale or the C Ionian mode. You can call it either one. It's the same thing. So you're going to be. Uh, the idea is kind of look at how your fingers would lay across all the frets there. So right now I got my index on seven middle on 8, then you got the 9 and 10 right there. So if that scale shape is going to span those fret numbers. It's going to be either 7, 8, 9, or 10. So you want your fingers over that area. So this is where you have minimal hand movement. And you're going to start with your middle finger. So I'm just going to say what the frets are as we go. So I'm going to go up and then back down. So we have 8, 10, 7, 8, 10, 7, 9, 10, 10, 9, 7, 10, 8, 7, 10, 8. Also, remember to keep your thumb in the center of your hand. So this way you have a much easier time stretching. When you put your thumb over here, it puts you at a disadvantage. And even that just feels really awkward for me right there. So, thumb in the center of your hand. Uh, the other scale we did mode was E Phrygia. Starting with our open E string, we have, and this is the one exception because the bass is so wide, maybe it's easier to go first and fourth here instead of the, the first and third, but uh, let's just go through the frets being used. We have 0, 1, 3, 0, 2, 3, 0, 2, 2, 0, 3, 2, 0, 3, 1, 0. Those just keep playing them and playing them until you get them memorized. Uh, let's see. So the first three things we did were, or for the tablature, it was just to kind of help get you used to reading the tab. So I'll go ahead and run through those. So first one was. about optimal finger placement for the fret. So what we talked about was you just want to get as close to the fret as possible without being directly on top of it. And let's say if you're on the fifth right here, 
you can kind of go back quite a bit before it starts getting kind of funny. But right there, now I'm touching the fourth fret there, now it sounds bad. So the goal is get it as close to the fret as you can without being directly on top of it. Alright, now the second thing that was tapped out.